Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw. I'm here in Tulum, Mexico at a wonderful resort, La Zebra. I'm here with the general manager, Max Ackerman, and we're going to talk about this resort and more on this incredible destination here in Tulum on Insider Travel Report. Now, Max, I came here a few weeks ago, met you for the first time, and, and actually we should talk about that later. You have an amazing uh, 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 salsa night, which apparently is known throughout the Riviera Maya, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, first of all, tell us a little about where we are located here. So, nice uh, to have you here, James. Um, we are here in the, in the, at La Zebra, in the center, right in the center of Tulum, uh, Beach Road, Boca Paila. So, it's a resort very well located in Tulum, we are walking distance from uh, a lot of shops and uh, and uh, the best restaurants. Uh, and food food trucks too. I was amazed that we had. A, you can really find everything, pharmacies, everything, and it, it is a beach location that you've never seen. Because on the other side of that road is this incredible beach behind us, and I, I swear uh, this is one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen. Totally, totally. We we have a, a very nice uh, piece of beach uh, here at La Zebra, so uh, we allow our uh, um, everyone to come here and enjoy the, a day uh, with us at La Zebra. That's not only for hotel guests but for everyone so uh, we have also a beautiful restaurant and uh, and very nice kitchen we will probably talk to uh, this later but uh, yes it's for everyone well let's talk a little bit about the accommodations you have I believe you say you have about 30 rooms here we do have 30 rooms uh, at the hotel uh, La Zebra we have a beachfront suite a penthouse and also garden view and sea view rooms um, the rooms at the ground floor they have a little plunge pool very nice um, so very relaxed for families, very relaxed for couples. It's it's for everyone. Yeah, no, and it's a, we we talked about what the target market and this resort is for everyone. Although other parts of your collection are more for for couples and people like that. But and we'll get to that collection in a second. And you talked about dining. Talk about your restaurants and bars here. We have a, an amazing chef. Um, his name is Eliza Bonilla. He is one of the star uh, star chef here in Tulum. Um, without any doubt, uh, he has uh, he has something special. He uh, has uh, such a, a high level of creativity that you can find in our dishes here at La Zebra. We do um, so we have a la carte menu for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and um, and we also do a chef table, which is an eight course menu uh, right here at La Zebra. It's our gastronomic dinner. Um, that's just incredible. Uh, I invite everyone to come whenever they have a, a prime time to come and visit us. So you don't have to be a guest here, you can actually come to dinner here too, just by yourself. Everyone can come, even having breakfast, lunch or dinner, every, everyone is very welcome. And then the other thing you have here, you have some special events, like we talked about the Salsa Night, which has become so well known here, and we were able to experience it last time we were here a few weeks ago, and it's pretty amazing. Everybody in the Riviera Maya turns out for it, right? That's right, that's right. We have we have um, many people from Cancun uh, area coming just for the Salsa Night, so they're driving about two hours just to come into Tulum, and uh, just for partying at, the, at, at, at Salsa Night. We have the only, uh, only place in Tulum where you can dance salsa by the beach. Uh, and yeah, and that's what you want to do in Tulum, that's for sure. Now let's talk about some of the other activities. You do have a spa here, right? We do have a nice, uh, cozy little spa where um, we have very talented um, uh, therapists working with us. And uh, it's very cozy, very quiet, and that's just perfect for a relaxing uh, massage. Yeah. And then, of course, we're actually standing on a rooftop here, which you have, there's a little bar up here. It's one of the two, three bars, I believe, on, on the property. There's one beachside bar, which uh, seems to have mostly mezcals and tequilas, as I tried a few yesterday. Uh, and then we have this place, and then this is the only little pool that's up here, actually on the roof, which is kind of different, right? That's correct. We have, uh, La Zebra is very lively. We have three bars. Um, the, the, the most famous one is the Murbury Project Bar that uh, we uh, welcome here at La Zebra for ninth month of the year. So it's a pop-up bar, it's not uh, all year long. Uh, then we have our main bar at the restaurant and we have a little uh, small bar at the, at, the, at the rooftop along the, the, the swimming pool, which is very, uh, very nice for the guest who wants to have a little swim. Now, what else are activities would people do here? I mean, obviously, they, there's other restaurants down there. There's, there's shops, there's stores, and obviously, you're not too far away from the famous archaeological Tulum Mayan ruins, right? 
Not at all. We have uh, we have some bikes uh, uh, available for our guests. So uh, most of them are just um, having some bikes here at the hotel and just riding uh, along the beach until the ruins of Tulum. And uh, we have many cenotes in the area as well. So we really um, we have some um, very nice recommendation from our front desk they know very well all the areas they have tried every tour so they're always here to help anyone who wants uh, some advices although i gotta tell you it's going to get me uh, very hard to get me off the beach because uh, this is incredible beach here you have incredible food uh, but there are some things you don't have you have internet you have wi-fi i've been using that sadly because it's what we do uh, what you don't have is televisions right that's correct we don't want to have tv in uh, tv screens in a room we want our hotel guests to to, to relax and really disconnect from the real world and uh, that works pretty well. And especially this year, I think we all need to disconnect from the real world a little bit sometimes, or if this, maybe this is the real world, let's, let's hope for that. Now finally, you are part of the Calibri collection. Talk about the other properties in the collection, if you could. Well, yes, for sure. We have uh, the, the, the nearest hotel um, from here is Hotel El Pes, a very, uh, very nice, beautiful hotel. Um, more quiet, uh, 23 rooms, if I'm not mistaken, um, on this uh, very beautiful area. Uh, it's very nice. We then have Hotel Mi Amor, which, uh, um, which welcome only adults. Uh, very nice, uh, the most modern hotel that, we, that the Colibri collection has. And at the end we have Mezzanine Hotel, uh, the, the smallest uh, hotel with nine rooms. Um, beautiful, with a, with a very good uh, and uh, strong restaurant. Yeah, it's a Thai restaurant. Yeah, a Thai restaurant. Uh, have you tried it? We did try it uh, when we were here last time, because I believe what we did is we ate over there and had a little, uh, they called it hors d'oeuvres, it was a pretty full meal. And then they had drove us down to see you and we, we could barely <laughs> eat because it was a wonderful meal here too. So you can get very well fed at all of the restaurants here. And finally, how can travel advisors uh, learn more and also book their clients to this wonderful property? Well, um, we always advise to uh, to book with a with a little bit in advance uh, with us. I recommend to go directly on our website on um, uh, lazarbatulum.com and uh, and book straight with us to get the best deals. Okay, and then finally, you are a member of the Small Luxury Hotels uh, group as well. I think uh, many of your properties are right. That's correct. All of them are um, uh, here in Tulum. So. Uh, since two years, we are, we are uh, part of the Small Luxury Hotel of the World uh, group. Well, Max, it was great to come back and see you again and actually stay at the property overnight. It, it was a totally different experience. Thank you for hosting us at this property. It gave me a lot of insight into what this thing is all about. It's, it's an amazing uh, property, amazing location here in Tulum, which, believe me, has been a revelation for me. I was here 30 years ago when it was nothing, and now it's all been built up, and, and it's really, there's so many small boutique hotels, but I will have to say you have one of the best here. <laughs> Thank you so much, James. It was a pleasure to have you here. Hope you will come back soon. I hope so. After with, who wouldn't want to come back here? I'm James Schillinglaw and this is Insider Travel Report.